This project is called In Our Nature, and it's a mural installation project that spotlights five women of color from Scarborough and Toronto that are either artists or activists and community workers. And they're all doing that work at various capacities, but they are serving their communities in different ways. The installation is featured at the entrance of the Toronto Zoo. Portraits emerging from the ground of five women of color who are making significant contributions to the community. Once you park in our parking lot, this is one of the main veins to get into the main entrance of our zoo. I think they're beautifully set up. They're so welcoming, these beautiful faces. Um, it brightens up the space a lot, and it really does speak the message of, you know, to our BIPOC community, especially to the women and what they've contributed to our, to our zoo. And they are um, often overlooked or not allowed the space to kind of showcase um, their, their work and, their, and the things that they're doing for their communities. So we wanted to make sure we had a nice array of that experience. And though some people have gotten international recognition, like I mentioned Joy and Farah Khan, for example, a lot of public recognition. There are other people like Mangai and Lady who are featured, who are just community workers and members who are just taking care of each other. Well, there's also an exciting hidden aspect to this art. You see, over time with weather, this exterior painting of these flowers will disappear, revealing more of the artwork and story beneath. Stand, and I'm really, really excited to see uh, these sort of um, greenery degrade through time. This paint will wash off and the paint underneath is a little bit more permanent. So as the season evolves, so will these paintings. And at the end of that, it will look like the, the faces are emerging from the ground. And that's kind of representative of our connection to nature and our belonging in nature. And um, a comment on basically how racialized people interact with public space and green spaces and their access and safety in those spaces as well. The hope is that the message of recognition and appreciation will be delivered through the changing art of the five portraits. Art has a really great way of sending a message by just, you know, someone looking at it really quickly grasp, grasping a message. I just wanted to make sure something outside of the zoo was a good fit um, and just having green space all around so that we can have the women actually immersed in the green space as well. Well, it will take about a month to reveal the full images. And so there will be an event here on October 16th to celebrate the emerged portraits of these five women. To see more about why all five of them were selected, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.